in our last episode, I think we all remember the, the main points. Uh, the escape, the, the capture. Um, also, it was revealed that Albedo was behind the attack on Negredo because Negredo opposed Virginia Dare's peace plan. Um, hmm. When this came out, Rubido, who had been hurrying to catch up with you at the, at the exit to the tunnel, seemed to discover or have awakened within him some kind of firepower, and he blasted Albedo in the face with it, leaving him hideously burned, as Murray had seen in her visions. Don't you mean he was left scarred and deformed? But his resolution has never been stronger. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Um, so the party that escaped has been hiding out in the home of Hercules Mulligan in his secret basement room, uh, coordinating with Alexander Hamilton, Nathan Hale, some sort of rescue mission. Um... So that's kind of where we left off. I will say that it is now the morning after they were captured. So you have 24 hours until they are hanged. So from that, we know that they know what we have to do. So are they making me an outfit I can use to actually do this while also hiding my pistol and such? I would what? be willing to make a, a role. Uh, he's asking if they made him an outfit while yes. hiding his uh, pencils. Hercules, Hercules Mulligan is one of the guys who handles British uniforms. That's why he was such an effective spy. Can um, I, I work? With yes. You? If you need British uniforms, you will have access to them. Perfect. Mulligan we, will find some that fit you. Can we put hidden pockets in it for his gun? Well, if he's a British soldier, he will be expected to be carrying a gun. But if you want to he specifically has hide, gun. like, his three-barreled pistol, then... Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you need to conceal that. Like, wearing a wearing a pistol, as long as you had a holster that kind of covered the barrels. I'm not going to make you roll for that. I'm going to say carrying a secondary pistol is not unusual. Sounds good. And my sword, too? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, if you're going to be using an officer's uniform, it would certainly... So, is there any of my type of smokescreen weapon we have that we can make, or is that not within my class? A smoke... Like a smokescreen weapon? Like a smoke or like bomb, or... Dr. Yeah, like Channing... Bomb. I don't know if Dr. Channing has any kind of craft ability, but... If I have something that would be of use. Assume with his yeah. science background, I assume he would be the one that would be able to... And I, would I say have science, we... but it's biology. If yeah. we could do one, we should do several and have to go up in different places to sow confusion. Yeah, it sounds like Dr. Channing doesn't have the right kind of science and presumably wouldn't have the crafting ability, so that's going to be out. I was going to say, a smoke pot was actually... You know, something that did exist at, at that fun time. Mm -hmm. Back to it's hard to keep the battlefields back then from not being smoky. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, things can exist, but if you don't have anyone that yeah. knows how to make them. Yeah, fair enough. Yep. Um, so beyond that, what can we do to cause a distraction from the hanging uh, area? Um, well, I will, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what your, what your plan is that you're going, that you're asking for a distraction. If you're going to go in as an officer and... I, no, I, I definitely am. But also, an officer can't just walk up to two people, like, about to be, about to be hanged to be like, hey, let's go. You absolutely could. You just... Forge a oh. document saying Admiral Howe wants these two transferred to a prison ship. Oh, all right. And, and if people believe that, then they will let you walk right out with them. 
Okay. If it's that stupid and easy, then yeah, do it. Okay. So who's going to um, do the forgery, though? Wouldn't, wouldn't we need somebody to do the forgery? Uh, Aaron bought Crap. the spying skill last time, so he could... That's the skill you would use for forgery. Okay. Which I will want to do with you. Okay. Um, yes. Now, yep. I will... Give me a second. Let me put the character sheet. And does anyone have any any skill that may help to assist with this? Yeah, I plan on doing a uh, empower spell on him. Okay, so he will get a. I'll give him a plus two. Wait, for the entire like thing, or just for the forgery? Uh, it goes for this scene, so. You succeed. You forge documents that you think will hold up. So these will give you a, an additional plus two to your deception roll. I, I do think that I could reasonably give him a plus four, being the only one I'm doing this on at the moment. All right. Well, I mean, he already succeeded. Yeah. And, you, yeah. and I'm assuming you're also going to want to give him a plus when he actually goes to do the infiltration. Yeah. Yeah. Other than other than him doing the infiltration, what else are we going to be doing for that? Aaron, it um, seems like you have an idea of us doing smoke bombs. Yeah. We we can't do it though. No to make one. Um Okay. So I'll just I'll be walking up there and be like, Hey, these troops are being yeah. reassigned they're being uh taken to a slave ship or something. So I Um <laughs> Wait a minute. One more thing I think we need to consider is I think in this situation, it wouldn't just be an officer showing up, but an officer showing up with several guards. Sure. Because once you once you have the once you have the prisoners, somebody has to guard them, right? You are Unless not you just wrong. say, "Hey, you two, come here and guard these prisoners while I bring them out," or something mm -hmm. like that. But yeah. So if you wanted to have people going as your men, obviously Dr. Channing is present. Also, Mary is not going to fly. Yeah. That's <laughs> Also, uh, you have Alexander Hamilton and Nathan Hale. I should just keep would, my mouth shut. I'm not there. Would they be known? Would um, Nathan Hale and Alexander Hamilton be known? Yeah, I was going to ask that question too. But we have yeah. somebody has disguise, right? I would somebody say Hale disguise? would be the lesser known. I think Hale would be not as well known as Hamilton. I mean, Hamilton is like a 19 year old kid. Yeah, he's got some variety the right for, right. for the whole stealing, yeah. for the whole stealing armaments, but he looks like he he'd probably be about the right uh, age for a for a red coat, right? For I mean, yeah, for a for an enlisted man, he would certainly be of an age. So, I mean, I I turn them, I, I say, you know. Which one of you wants to come with us to complete this whole charade? Uh, Dr. Channing, are you going to be part of this? Yes, I am. Perfect. Okay. I have so, a terrible deception role, but... You shouldn't need it with me there. I'll, I'll be covering for you. They'll be quiet, presumably. Okay. All right. So if you take all three of them... Um, Obviously, you would also need, most likely need somebody with the, the, the carriage or whatever you're going to use to get out of there. Mm. Yeah. Like, there is... Mary, would that make sense for Mary to do that? Good. I mean, she's just a woman. Nobody will notice her. She's okay. in trousers. Nobody... You know, it could be a woman there. You know, being the driver, that, 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 that would be... Scandalous if they're in trousers. I mean, she have to be, well, she's just she's be driving really it, but, you know, I don't sure even know everyone... if I would. Yeah. All right. So, and this is the part that I don't know if you guys are going to be able to appreciate how awesome it is. But here goes. Sorry, what was the title? Snatched from what? Snatched from the gallows. 
We hope. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> All right. So the thing that I thought would be cool that, you know, you might not be noticing because there aren't as many of you on the Roll20. I wrote two copies of this map with different, so Mary, uh, Channing, and uh, Thomas are all on one map that, you know, you can see the outside, but the prison is blacked out. Bram and Silverlock are on an another map where you can see... That's actually genius. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Yeah. We show I was very, hope proud. To I was merge very them. proud of myself. Like, I made the map, got everything laid out, and then copied it to do the lighting so I could do this. Mm. What time of day is this at, or is it not our turn or scene yet? That depends on what time they're going to go in. Well, are they going to be sitting at the gallows? Are they actually going to be at the gallows, or are they going to be in the center cell still? They will be hanged in 24 hours. If you want to oh. wait until they're at, at the gallows, it will be harder. Definitely not. No. If you want to no. wait until they're about to be hanged, it's going to be a lot harder to convince anyone that you're here for a Yeah, person. no, I agree. My, yeah, I agree. So... I, say, I would say as soon as we can, just go. Yep. Soon, soon as it, oh. soon as it's daylight. All right. Well then, for this scene, I am going to. All right. I'm going to cut to the to those who are in the in the cell. Obviously, it's the morning of the day that you are due to be hanged. Wait, you said 24 hours. So in 24 hours, they're going to be hanged. Right. I'm sorry. Yes. OK. <laughs> sorry. It's the day before you are due to be hanged. Um. Yeah, which. Sorry, I was I was thinking we might be able to have an escape attempt before everything happened, but that that's fine, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, as I said, it's the morning you are due to be hanged. No, there's, there's one night's no, rest. I'm sorry, the morning of the day before you are due to be hanged. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to say that wrong at least once more. We know what you mean. So basically, since we've gotten here, have we had one night sleep? Yes. What do I heal at all sleeping during that night? Unless I'll Silverlock you, keeps me up. Um, I'll say you can recover your non-lethal. Okay, so that goes to four and one. Okay. Yeah. You can. I'll say you can recover non-lethal injuries. Is Mary uh, driving the carriage that we're going to be carrying these two out? I believe um, so. Okay. Yeah, right now I just kind of put her outside the carriage, just making sure okay. no one does anything to it. Okay. The redcoats, the people disguised as redcoats, are approaching. The... Yeah, I'm thinking tonight we, we, we can possibly make a breakout if. If I can get the, you know, get the essence of the bear in me, I, mm -hmm. I think I might be able to, you know, bend these bars and yeah. can you, we can make our way out. Can you lift me up and I can look out the window or is the window level with us? Um, I could the window is, you, you can lift them the up window is small and high up, but you can look through it if you were to stand like on your toes. Okay. So we can see that we're, are we second floor or? Or are we a subfloor? I forget. Sub you are. Like, is that ground level, or is there? No, I, I think you guys, based on the map, are above ground. Oh, okay, last time you said below ground, but that's. I may have. Yeah. I'm redconning it to actually see what the map looks like. Because <laughs> How... looking at it now, the stairs that I thought were going down appear to be going up. You should at least save yourself, Silverlock. I know you can 
you can transform you can do some form of magic turn into a bird and, and go for, go see what you can do carry on the cause for this war i didn't surrender just to leave you here you know it's like like i said i i, I think we can we can get out it's like i i don't know why i didn't just grab you and go you know i that was it was a foolish thought of surrendering it oh, i, I appreciate it though i do <laughs> you should have run i i'm well, wounded i can barely walk I, I probably should have like i said i should have just grabbed you and threw you over my shoulder and make off i i could have still take taken a hit or two without probably collapsing but <laughs> uh, would that you had been able to plant your fist into mr d's face that would have been a memorable end mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just don't. I hate the thought that I'm getting hanged for shooting somebody. It's like we don't uh, talk about total injustice here. Out of the two of us, <laughs> I believe I'm the only person who's ever shot by someone. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I maintain you should you should get yourself out. I know you can get out at a whim. Perhaps you can. Guess... Maybe we can get out. You you can get through these bars, not the window, but the the gate. You have a way of, without causing noise. Can you become a mouse or something and get up to that guard? And can you change back? Do you can you control that? Yeah, it's it's hard getting to be so tiny. It's like probably could easily be able to get a cat that could slip through a dog. Gonna... Gets a little iffy. I'm going to stand up and kind of go to the gate. I have visual on a guard out the hallway, right? I can, like, peek kind of through the door and I can see what I can yeah, see. Yeah, there's a guard in the hallway outside okay. of your... What if we can lure him to us? I think you would need to... I have no doubt that you can quietly... I just dot 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 like you can read between the lines. I'm, I'm thinking of that Thor movie. Is it was it Thor where he's like with Loki is like, let's play. What, what do you say like um, I'm sick or I whatever like. <laughs> Graham like beats dead. up Loki. <laughs> he throws him at the at the guards. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I think our our options are better once it's night. Uh, you know, it's like. Doing things in, you know, you know, in the morning here. It's a, a yeah. we're just gonna get caught again. You know, our best mm -hmm. luck is uh, when there's fewer men about and they're halfway sleepy, anyways. It's like, and who knows what they might be uh, drinking too. To... If you can get me his musket or his pistol, the first they'll come in with a troop with an officer, and I can at least take out the head. And we can go like out said, in a blaze like, of glory. Back in the, yeah. the prison, as this conversation is taking place, uh, Thomas has arrived with his contingent of not redcoats, but dressed like <laughs> redcoats. The guards outside the prison. They salute, but they I salute back. Okay. Are dogs used as guard dogs at this point in history? I know it started in wait no. Or would I want to keep my dog kind of hidden in the wagon? I'm assuming you want to. Like, they wouldn't be bringing a guard dog for a prison transfer. Okay. My dog's going to be hiding in the wagon, and I'm going to be inconspicuous as possible. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Oh, also, before we actually move on to scene, and before it happens, uh, I'm going to hopefully hope that I had a power cast on me. Yeah, could I have cast in power on him and on uh, Dr. Channing? Sure. You can give each of them a plus two. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. So Thomas, I'm, you know, they're inquiring as to your reason for coming to the prison. Tell them I'm here for two prisoners of interest. 
for uh, for the interrogation. And we need to transfer them to be interrogated to learn about our enemy. So I'm giving you a plus two to your deception for this because you used because you were able to use your spying to forge documents. And an additional <laughs> plus two because there's a magic on you. Yep. So, oh yeah. They completely believe you. They don't even really scan the document. <laughs> you rolled an eight. Awesome. Thanks. Holy no cow. Max. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Very nice. They're like, yeah, oh that... my god, we love you. <laughs> love your autograph. Can we go with you? <laughs> Can we help yeah. you carry <laughs> the prisoners? <laughs> ah, but he's having. <laughs> All right. So you're admitted in. You're lit through the gate. There's a essentially an open air corridor here. There's another gate inside that they unlock for you. Perfect. Uh, so the layout there are two small doors to the east. There's a, a rather nice looking door to the north that would presumably be the commandant's office. And then there's a door to the west that, based on the wall, would lead to another open air corridor. So before we even get that point, I'm going to I rolled the eight for it. We're in the prisoners yeah. of interest. Can you tell me where they are? We're in a rush. I have asked the guard. I'm sorry, sir. We don't know where specific prisoners are. You'd have to ask the commandant and certain he can have them brought to you. <laughs> Thank you. Is my uniform senior theirs or my equal? You're an officer. The guys you're talking to are enlisted men. Okay. So I, I told them to play like at ease and I just walk past them. Okay. Good old non comms. So. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you've got, as I said, there are doors to the east that are smaller and probably lead to just rooms within the, not like cells, but it would be probably fair to say like, you know, the prison kitchens, laundry, etc. I forget, mm. larceny is not for, pick, for picking locks, right? Larceny is for picking locks. That is good to know, thank you. <laughs> The door to the north is, as I said, it's it's a nicer door, so that probably leads to the commandant's office, and there's a window next to it, so I will say yes, the door to the north leads to the commandant's office, and then the door to the west leads to another open-air corridor. Hmm. So, I wonder, now this is me talking about my character, I wonder, sure. I could pick locks, so do I okay. need to keep the act up? Or is it more suspicious that I'm walking around there without the commandant's permission? Um, if they see you picking a lock, it'll blow no, your cover. Obviously, obviously, that will blow my cover, yes. So, okay, fine. So, so the commandant. <laughs> and, you know, presumably there's more men in this prison than you brought with you. So, yeah, you may want to avoid a shootout. I guess. I do appreciate the uh, the recommendation, but we we're, we're all here to die today, so. <laughs> yeah, so Speak for yourself. Well, <laughs> fine, so the commandant was going to make friends with him. Okay. All right. You I definitely the you are able to enter the Commandant's office. The Commandant is there. There's also a judge present. Uh, the Commandant looks to be of equal rank to you, and not just because you're using the same mini. <laughs> the Commandant stands up. Yes, may I help you, Captain? 
before I uh, take out the paperwork, I say we're here to, you know, speak mostly to prisoners of interest and be interrogated to find out uh, what know about our enemies. Uh, they hold secrets that are very important to us. Okay. Um, once again, having you do the deception roll with the plus four. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. You rolled it too. Eesh. Ooh, even let's, with a plus four. Let's see what the officer's empathy is. Or, you know, maybe <coughs> empathy or. Maybe to... Oh, my luck to be going. Yeah, the officer is kind of giving you a look at this point. Out of your one is, job. This is highly unusual, sir. The men in question are set to hang tomorrow, and these orders come directly from General Howe. I find it hard to believe Admiral Howe wouldn't have known about this. I am the in orders. I am um, if they are killed, we're going to lose valuable intel. That's going to be on your head if that happens. Adam, where is Admiral Howe currently? On his ship in New York Harbor. So if I use a lie by him, they can't even prove it. I mean, it would take a while to send someone to Admiral Howe to, to check this, yes. Um, can we, interesting, can we say that the actual paper I handed has a side two, and a side two it's signed by Admiral, Admiral Howe? Well, I'm going to, I kind of took that into account when you were doing your, your forgery yeah. that it would have had to have been signed by someone. So, so yeah, I kind of already factored that in. Okay. And did he see the signature? Like, is, or is it like, so I'll be like, listen, Admiral Howe called for a change or this paperwork clearly defines that. I'd rather us not get into a conflict where we lose intel because you're following old old decision making old rules or whatever they're saying is my brain. Mm -hmm. So if you want to die, it's gonna be on your head. Literally, it'll be on your head. But if I'm gonna save you and do our jobs best best best, best we can, I'll take those prisoners and they'll be properly beaten and tortured to get intel out of them on house ship. Hmm. I suppose that would be an intimidation check. Let's see if you have that skill. You do not. So this is going to be another deception check. You don't get another bonus for the orders. Or would can it I, be a bureaucracy? Can I throw in a style point or two? Uh, yeah, if you, since you're with him, if you want to throw in a couple of style points to assist, you certainly can. All right, I'll throw two in. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> if you fail, I won't need them. <laughs> you roll another two. <laughs> another two? Are you okay? <laughs> Son of a nope. gun. That's what he rolled. Oh, we're doomed. That's, you know, you're paying for that eight to begin with, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can this be a All force right. vision? I think my next character's going to have a lot more... Uh... My next character, character is going to be a face. He's going to be able to talk his way out of um, it. Yeah, at this point, they're, they are seriously questioning everything. I'm, I'm sorry, but my orders come from General Howe, and I, I cannot let you countermand them. If you are trying to get intelligence from them, I could perhaps lend you the use of our interrogation room, and you could certainly have words. I shrug and say, fine, that's, a, that's the best you can do, that's the best I'll take. I appreciate the, the gesture. All right. So you are led through this open air corridor here, which, you know, you're led through this open air corridor into the interrogation.
Meanwhile, Graham, a red coat comes to your Someone upstairs just took a nasty fall. Meanwhile, Graham, a couple of red coats have come to your cell. I just watch them silently. Don't say anything. We're I'm gonna take you to the interrogation room. Turns out. One of the officers wants to question you before you hang. One keeps his musket kind of trained on on Silverlock. I don't know why. I, I just look so innocent and, and... I'd much rather speak with a priest. <laughs> You'll be able to speak with one tonight before you hang. So one keeps his musket trained on Silverlock, the other escorts Graham out of the cell. I'll just look and... at Silverlock and I will mouth to him, get out of here. They lead Graham down this cord. So I'll say Graham can now see this area here. Okay. They lead you down this corridor to the south. I'm following with them. I'm not trying to resist, considering my okay. one half health. Yep. Actually, no, they would take you this way. This way is quicker. So they'll take you through here, past this. Do I see any other guards in these hallways as I'm passing? Or is it just the two um, on my, my shoulders? There's a guy over here that you probably see through the bars. And you hear voices coming from the south. The stairway? Yeah, from down the stairway. Okay, okay got it. You're taken here, past this statue. Then... Hold on. You're taken down the stairway here, into this open air corridor. Okay. Actually... Nope, you are not taken into the open air corridor. You, there's no reason to take you in there. That would be the way to the gallows. You're not going there yet. They take you down this stairway. Yet. And they put say, you. We know the sort of layout because I've done the astral. You no, have. We... He hasn't. Well, yeah, but I drew him out the map. But. They put you in the interrogation room. You are shackled to the chair. At this point... By my hands or by my ankles? Um, your ankle is shackled to the to the chair. My, your hands are my shackled to the... the... Gut. Oh, okay. Dang it. Your actual leg. Like, the Franklin <laughs> one is good. Not good enough to... You know... Not good enough to convince them that it's not made of wood. Okay. The... There's a red coat officer there kind of waiting. Uh, you recognize that it's Thomas. And so the guards kind of look to Thomas. Will that be all, sir? Yes, on your leave. Thank I'm... you. Sir now. OK. So Thomas and Graham, you are able to interact. You are in the same interrogation room. Or do the guards leave? They step out of the room. Is the room... There are wind there are barred windows, so I would not you know, you would be smart enough not to talk too loudly. Okay, first thing I'm gonna say is, is would, you bastard. Well would would uh the two of us uh red coats also be outside or be in the room? Um I would Could we get away with the one who came with Thomas. At least one of you'd be standing guard outside. Okay. Uh, doctor, it's a narrow corridor, so you couldn't really have more than one. The doctor being in there to do some um, medicine might be a good idea. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea, actually. Um, okay. If doctor, all right. So Doctor Channing will enter the room, and then one of the uh, the others will. At this point, I am going to reveal the whole map. Like, let me. Uh, 
put everyone on one map now. <clears throat> it would have been cooler if it went to an action scene and you guys were all... <laughs> we're trying to avoid an action scene. <laughs> yep. I know. I'm just saying, it would have been, you yeah, know... We understand. Like, the yeah. whole two-map thing would have yeah. could have been cool. Right. And we do have two grabs here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... Yeah. Just yeah. Wait till I unlock my final room. form. Then there will be four. Yeah. <laughs> Channing is now in the room with Thomas and Graham. You've got one of your men outside. The other one is presumably waiting out, outside the commandant's office. And we clearly see how bad Graham is injured, correct? Oh, yeah. He's, he's pretty messed up. Is there anything I can do for him without a medical kit or anything like that? Uh, since first aid has already been performed, not really. Okay. Fair enough. Like, you would need more time to... It'd be the yeah. long-term medicine, yeah. I think at this point, we need a diversion. Are there yeah. any uh, barrels of powder or anything like that around? Hmm. I, Not in the interrogation room. I, no, I mean, like right outside, like in the hallway outside or whatever. Uh, no, they generally don't keep like Munitions. a bunch of excess powder at the prison. Like the guards presumably would all have their own powder horn. Right. Like their own powder, their own their own balls. Like, but they wouldn't keep. It's not a magazine. There wouldn't be large right. supplies. Okay. So. Okay. I will. I will kind of realizing that what's going on. I will never talk. You're you'll have to wait till I'm hanged tomorrow morning. And like they're gonna hang us tomorrow, just in case you didn't know. Sure. But you won't we won't tell anything. Me nor Silverlock back down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you a step. <laughs> Nice. For well, your, well, yeah. <laughs> for your realistically bad attempts to convey a message. <laughs> oh look, Aaron's home now. Or he has a background in his car. <laughs> <laughs> really good lighting. <laughs> yeah. Your car looks just like your usual apartment. <laughs> I live in my car. <laughs> Are you driving your apartment? I drive in my apartment. <laughs> it's one and the same. <laughs> I live really good. <laughs> so on the way over here uh, to the cell, did we spot anything that could be used as like a beyond a powder keg? Like anything else that could be used as a, a, a distraction? Um, I will say you guys can now see the map. So I should probably log in to see. Yeah. Yeah, a Adam. While everything's going on with uh, Graham. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to transform into a raven, which I'm, I'm guessing I could possibly use the uh, the stats for a uh, a uh, oh, an eagle uh, for the tree, you know, for size and everything, which basically would be a minus four on my rolls. Uh, my base magic is nine. I'll, I will give you. Hold on. It uh, basically because. Because I have a feeling they're going to be out for several minutes or who knows how long. My, my plan is to change into Raven, fly around, see if I can notice anything. Uh, and then possibly, you know, if I do notice, you know, the, the rescue party laying there, try to do some type of communication. If I can't, if I don't notice anything, I'll fly back and get back to the cell. But okay, I don't think I have a raven, but I will give you the stat block for an owl. Yeah, it's it's whatever you know. It, it's one of those things. It's like I'm just trying to get a. Yep. But yeah, right. well, there is a character sheet I just labeled Silverlock Owl yeah. in yeah. your animal forms folder. So you can go ahead and. 
kind of use that as the base for a raven. It's probably the closest yeah. thing I have. Oh, yeah. Which is weird, because you'd think all for one would have a, a raven, but... Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's because I didn't have a token for one. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead and... Is that a spell that takes a certain amount of time to cast or it yeah it, it's a it's a ritual but but you know if if he's going to be gone for several minutes okay. half hour yeah. you know it's like i probably can you, easily do yeah, it just, taking the average i'll say yes you can transform yourself it, but like i said it, the big thing is it's like whether or not i notice the others outside because if i don't then it's like i'm gonna have you make the, a perception check in your bird form okay Now I thought I still had my. The only thing I I got you know with the form was the. Okay, physical attributes, yep. in middle, and uh, perception. I believe. I think, I think if the. Oh. And I don't know if the owl provides any kind of like a keen sense talent, but I think you would have access to that if you. Yeah. I I just noticed the perception of it was. Think lower than my base. That's why, because my yeah. base perception is six. So basically, you'd be rolling your base perception with a plus four because the owl, because the bird has keen sight. Yeah, yeah. So let me do that. Like I think most birds. And yeah, I'll say with a four, that's pretty good. It's below average, but it's pretty good. Um. Gosh. Make an intelligence roll. <laughs> nope, you do not recognize that this guy waiting here is Alexander Hamilton. Or, or the, However, the, the person in the trousers by the coach who is... Uh, wait, did you say an owl? Well, it'd probably be a raven, but yeah. Raven, sorry. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were going to be sending it like outside the bars, not like inside the prison. No, basically, oh, what yeah, I, he's flying I over the prison. Into... This corridor is an open air corridor, so if Hamilton's oh. there, you look down. Oh, no, 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 no. I would be flying outside the the bars of the window. Yeah. And 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 see them, you know, the, with the coach and everything. But yeah, it's like yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fly yeah. out the bars of the window and then over the prison. Yeah. Look around. You would see this corridor from the sky because it's open air. Oh, okay. But you don't recognize that guy as Hamilton. Or if Mary's inside him. the coach, you might not see her. Yeah. If um, she's sitting the, on top of you. I'm sitting in, in the driver's seat. Okay. Then I would say you would recognize her. You know her well enough, and she's not in disguise. So you see Mary waiting, sitting in a coach. Okay. So you probably, uh, I would land. It's probably a black raven with a white feather on its head and now mary makes the perception check to see if she notices mary makes a perception check let me see i have a pretty good perception but yeah. i say that and i roll a one. Oh my god can my dog mary... roll a perception roll yes yes he can <laughs> mary initially thinks it's om it's ominous that there's what appears to be a carrion bird that's kind of lady <laughs> hanging around the I will say the dog notices like there's some yeah, I nod and come lingering smell of overlock <laughs> about him that the dog notices John is that you? and I no. peck once so you're out that's good um, did you see Grem be taken by the other others? peck once Course Mary wouldn't know about that because wait, why is he not with you? Sorry, you're right, I wouldn't know about that. Yeah, like Mary expected to see them both marched out the prison door or hear signs that the plan had gone completely bad. She is not. Well, I, I probably would prison. twist my head towards the prison. Do I need to go in? Pecked. I pecked twice. I think that means no. <laughs> So, because pecking once has seemed like a yes. Um, uh, are you planning to wait here with me? 
or do you want to do some just some flying around to see how things are going? Do you want a crack? Do you... <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, 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 I peck once, then I pause, and I peck twice. Okay, sir, so you're staying here. I'm pretty sure that's what that meant. <laughs> I, like, I ruffle my feathers a little bit. It's like, well, I guess we're going to be waiting here um, until they show up. I peck twice. <laughs> Does that mean no? Crud. Um, uh, what question to ask? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um... Can I roll a perception for like a round? Sure. I'm I'm quietly saying this. As Mary rolls perception, and I'm gonna say, you all kind of notice this. There seems to be a commotion from inside the prison. Where'd the big guy go? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So. Yeah, you guys are hearing this commotion. Um, you're not exactly sure what's going on, but considering Graham told Silverlock to get out of there, I would think Graham has reason to suspect that maybe Silverlock has done exactly what Silverlock did. Well, how long have I been gone? Because it's... You have to fly around, find Mary, and have a conversation with her, and considering the guard was right outside, you know, the area of your cells... And I, um, uh, at this he point, really well on his, well, he rolled okay on his perception check. Uh, I should warn you, Graham is, uh, not Graham, uh, Silverlock is probably left. You should, if you can get me out of these, we, maybe we can leave. I smirk and I, uh. Thomas, this would be a chance to use your larceny because there's no was, way to catch you. That's right. I smirk and I, I, I try to pick your lock. Um, At this, yeah. At this point, I would be debating uh, casting sleep on the guards outside the front door if there is a commotion going on. Sure. Can I use one of my style points to assist by like holding my cuff like, in the right thing? Yeah, you can. You can give him a style point. Okay. Do I have plus two for this for power? You do. It's plus three because he's giving you a point. Okay. I'm trying to make it extra easy. <laughs> <laughs> it a roll a zero. Yeah. It makes them more locked. Yeah. You roll a zero. Break a, break a pick in the pick. lock, and now they cannot be unlocked. No, you roll well enough. You hear the lock click. The shackle, the shackle falls off. Graham's arm, Graham's leg is no longer shackled to the chair. His hands are no longer shackled to each other. Dr. Channing, can you check these stitches if they will break? And I'll lift up my shirt and you can see this bayonet wound so <laughs> yeah. loosely probably bleeding good, out from moving. Good grief, already. man. That's quite a wound. You yeah, should see the been, gunshot. He's been shot, stabbed, beaten. As I said, he's a poisoning and a castration away from the full Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Is there anything you can do to help me? I just need to last out to the door. Is, is there anything I can do for him? If he takes more damage, you could, you know... Again, first aid, you can't really first aid him because okay. he's already had first aid. Yeah. Not much I can do for you, man. Uh, let's can, uh, yeah. get out of here. Uh, let me your way. I'll, stay, right. I'll, I'll, you, I'll just let you take the average and diagnose him as... You know, he'd probably be hurt if strong wind him. <laughs> he needs a vacation. I have a question, Adam. Yeah. Um, the guard that's right here. This door is closed, correct? Yes. Can I the guard that's right, right here? here is Nathan Hale. Oh, my bad. I, I knew that. Sorry. I'm just seeing the map now. I, I realize. Or, Never mind. Okay. Or is it Alexander Hamilton? Nope. It's Nathan Hale. Okay. So there's no and, actual enemy guards around us. Okay. Right. Never mind. At this point, Hale is knocking on the door and kind of whisper muttering. Weapons a foot. We have to go. All right. Frog march him out like we're taking a prisoner. Gently. <laughs> yeah, I'm but also quickly. Can if I cast I'm... that? Sleep Gently, spell? quickly, frog march him. Okay. Go ahead and cast your spell. It's uh, going to be at a the... minus. Yeah. Figure in the distance and whatever. Yeah. 
in total a minus two because of the dog. Yep. Um, Are you telling me? Oh, anything that about... didn't add the modifiers. Sorry. Do you want to just take one away from that? Yeah. Or... Okay. Yeah. And so Sorry, it has to. It has to. On. It has to equal their willpower. Beat it. Uh. Yeah. Beat it. It still puts them to sleep. Yeah. It has to beat it. But yeah. Question for Graham. I'm at four lethal out of five, but I have one non-lethal. So basically, I'm at a half health. Am I still limited to one move, one action? Or am I at zero still technically? Or you're, you're at, at zero. zero. Okay. So, yeah, you'd be limited to move, act, or defend yourself. Okay. So I'm I'm using mine oh. to just move with the the right. guards. Okay. However, okay. As, I... the, as the only guards not in your so yeah, they march you out of there. Can... On the way out, they pick up Hamilton. You guys get to the main gate. The guards outside it are asleep. Cool. I was gonna you, see uh, if I. You've gotten Graham out of there. Nice. Get him in the cart and get the heck out of here. Can I? Yeah. Can I say? Do you have a sealed portal spell? Whatever. I forget. Can we make these doors locked? I'm gonna oh. point at one of the sleeping guards. Mary, right? Get me a musket. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna see if Graham was back in his human form. I am or always in my human Graham form. Sorry. In... John was in his human form. <laughs> no, I'm still as a, a raven because, yeah, I think I was thinking I might have to go do some. Yeah. Can you still like communicate with the animals and help us ride? Because when we're doing stuff as a bird, uh, I don't believe so. I think I have to transform back and then. Uh, okay. At this That's point, Kale animals. suggests that the carriage is a little small for everyone, so he and Hamilton are going to go the opposite direction on foot, and they'll rendezvous back at they'll rendezvous they... back at the home of the laborer. Yeah. Can they? Now, I probably would stay two. as a, a bird. And, uh... <laughs> Can they yeah, collect keep the two muskets? Spy eye in the sky. Yeah, Man. because I, I left my clothes behind because I would would have cost been a little harder to cast but yeah your gear's all been left behind yeah Mine i mean too. silver rock was basically just in his pants anyway yeah so it's not like so like there may be a pair of pants waiting in the cell <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I was, my plan was to go back but it's like if yeah let them think that the rapture happened and they were all left behind <laughs> <laughs> if Silver Lock transformed now, he would basically be in his underclothes. Yeah. Oh, no, I'd be nude. It's it's. Oh, he goes no commando underneath those trousers. <laughs> it, it, we're gonna say it's PG thirteen, so yeah. you can you can be in your underclothes. That's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. That 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 would be a G or or even PG PG thirteen. No, no, you'd see. Uh, I mean, you know, the level of violence we've seen is at least PG thirteen. <laughs> Well, it depends on when the movie was shot. If it was 1776, it would be R. If it was 1776, there wouldn't be movies. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. true. So, I was going to say, modern day PG-13. No, you'd see... Uh, uh, at least from the back. In, uh, in his, yeah, from the, from the back. And it's like, uh, yeah. Um, did anybody no, I... take the muskets that Graham asked for before they split off? Or... Um, Honestly, well, I wouldn't Hamilton have heard you. They'll have to carry their muskets so they can continue posing as guards. I figured they're okay. So, but okay. yeah, if you wanted to grab a musket from one of the sleeping guards before you hopped in the, the carriage, you certainly can. I or should... Channing carrying a musket that he doesn't normally carry. If he's yeah, you can you can carry. well, you can have that if you need it. But for now, it look it would look better if the red coat had the musket, not the. I, precisely yeah. i just i just wanted to grab them and put yeah. them in the wagon yeah so okay so hamilton and hale head the other way the party gets in the wagon um again hale is planning to he's made it clear that he wants to meet you guys back at mulligan's where uh -huh. it's up to you whether you go there or you know um I don't know of any other place we could go. In New York, at least. I mean, you could get back to where Washington... Well, if you found out where Washington's army was. 
based on yeah, the Yeah, and then we Yeah, and we look like red coats now, so. Yeah. I just need Give to find least... a place to rest. Could I I would try... say, let's go back to the to Hercules' place. Could I okay. try to do a medicine roll? It would have a few penalties. Um, um, again, they've already been they've already been first aided, so it has no. a minus two for each additional healing attempt, uh, minus two for over an hour old. And oh, you're not doing of... you're not doing medicine. You're trying to heal them with magic. Yes, yes. that you can try. Yes. With okay. So all, with all of how those many penalties. how many healing attempts have been made? <laughs> the doctor um, said that British did it. Yeah. So he's been patched up by the British. The wounds are over an hour old. Over a day old. Or yeah. 12 hours old. Yeah. It just says injury but over an hour. Yeah. one hour yeah. old. So, so you'd have both of those penalties. Minus so four. Minus four. Yeah. yeah. Plus two because of the dog, so. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the dog. So just a minus two. Yeah. yeah, you'd probably be doing Graham about... first because I'd probably be flying around. Uh, yeah, he's a yeah, and mine would be later on because so yeah. basically Graham got marched out the front door and Silverlock gave everyone the bird. That's uh. <laughs> 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 good night, internet. <laughs> <laughs> Go home, you're drunk. <laughs> oh man, I was in All practice right. and I was making a lot of puns and they're like, wow, you're full of puns tonight. I'm like, you should see me on Friday <laughs> when we're in this game. <laughs> so that's too lethal. Uh, Do I heal two or yeah. one? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. I so still you want guys arrived rest. back at Mulligan's. Oh, thank God. I was so worried you were going to do something about us still being in, in British controlled. <laughs> Again, well, aren't we... people in British no, uniforms no. walk into Mulligans all the time. He is a tailor who makes uniforms for the British. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Um, you probably got you... the wagon from him or, yeah. Yeah. Between Mulligan, Hamilton, and Pale, you have... I, I said you guys could have what resources you would reasonably be able to get. Okay. Mulligan sends you guys downstairs to get, you know, changed out of the uniforms so that he can, you know, just in case the redcoats who ordered them come for them. <laughs> I, I quack, must quack. I must thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Mulligan, and I must also request an uh, coach further on your hospitality. Uh, could you provide me two suits, or at least one and a half suits? I, I can. I'm, I'm sure I got something you can wear, yes. but uh, you may want to get below. You, uh, you did just walk out of the prison. Oh, trust me, I would lay in, in a bed for a week if I could. Uh, there's um, some now there's that some I have my in the basement, you can rest up. Now that I have my tool, my um, medical kit, could I? Uh... Try another medicine roll. If you could redo um, these suits. Yes, yeah. I will allow you to, to do that. To... Okay. It's going right, to be a um... negative two penalty because he's already received medical attention, but I'll allow it. I will... Honestly, the Redcoats doctor sucks. They were only. Honestly, the Redcoats doctor didn't put much effort into it because they were just going to hang him anyway. Clean them up a little bit more than yeah. Like yeah, they're they're not gonna put too much effort into saving a guy that they're just gonna hang. They give uh, poor medical care. The only reason they Lousy did anything was probably because yeah. that old man D wanted to talk to us. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I I fly in, into a where there's like some cloth or something and transform and sort of. Yeah. For decency's sake, uh, sure. You're, you're learning. You, you find a clothesline <laughs> with clothes that look like they might fit you. Land and uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll lay down on the the table or bed whatever right. and kind of so, allow. Yeah, Doctor Channing. Oh wait, I'm rolling for you because you're. Yeah. Thanks. That's right. That's a thing that I remembered I was doing. <laughs> And I guess if Mary wants to try to heal me or and or the doctor, uh, they uh, can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So oh, you recover. Oh, oh, I think hurts. I was going to oh. actually work on making you some clothes. So Graham recovers four more because yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. The, with... he, uh, Tanning has the the lifesaver ability. I Who's think uh, still for a story, Graham's gonna pass out after that. But in the morning, oh sure, feel a lot. Yeah, when Graham <laughs> wakes better. up, when Graham wakes up, having been under the care of Channing and, and Mary, all that healing will kick in. He'll be fine in the morning. <laughs> I'll just shrug it off. What's everyone else doing for the rest? It's by now. It's like later in the afternoon. Graham is presumably out for the night. He'll wake up early in the morning, feeling surprisingly good. I'm making some clothes that um, John would find acceptable. Okay. And yeah, you have the material and everything because you're at the home of Morgan. And yeah, I, I'll say I, feel, I feel like anything that John would find, you know, in the city is something he wouldn't find acceptable. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll say, beggars can't be choosers, you know. Yeah, I'll say you have the supplies. Mulligan, you know, you make something not quite as uh, iconic as the wolf pelt, but it's it's definitely much more rugged than anything he's going to find hanging out in New York. It's probably like, 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 like there's like a, a possibility I could, there's a possibility I could have some uh, material that John actually hunted on our yeah. adventures. Yeah. I mean, I'll say yeah. you can, at the very least, like, like deer skin, deer skin coat and breeches, that kind of stuff. Rabbit fur boots. Not quite wolf pelt, but at skunk least more tail Davy hat. Crockett. Skunk tail hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of course, more... John shows his wounds proudly, but you know, you, you, yeah, you you notice a little, he, he twinges once in a while. <laughs> yeah. It, it, Are you it's still negative? Like... Did, um... No, I, I've, I have six lethal, though. Does uh, the doctor do medicine on um, Jeff? Uh, on his oh, yeah. I totally forgot I would do that. <laughs> okay. so Sorry, I didn't realize gonna... Jeff was in such bad shape. There's no. not going to be a penalty on this because Silverlock didn't really get medical attention from the British as he was <laughs> conscious. Uh, Silverlock <laughs> recovers three lethal. Yeah. Is he still Dr. a little... Yeah, I still have three lethal. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, at this point, I'll, uh, see that you are wearing clothes, and now I can finally treat you. <laughs> now that I'm decent, okay. Now that you're yeah. decent. Silverlock has changed it. As I said, it's, it's very much like Davy Crockett or Hawkeye, than, more so than anything else he'd find in New York, so he's probably a little more comfortable. And with that, I'm, yeah, I'm actually going to steal the rest of the way. I'm probably ravenously hungry because you know it's yeah. Um, and Mulligan does send down some food, just nothing great, but and it's never enough. Yeah, like he sends down, you know, a loaf of bread, a few, a few bowls of, you know. When did he say? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, a loaf of That's bread. Just... A few bowls of stew, like, you know, a hearty stew made with chicken and milk. I'm assuming Silverlock downs Graham's because Graham has passed out. I was going to say, yeah, I want the down. And then I realized, oh, yeah, oh wait, this is for all of us. Uh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> is they, and it, was there any information you received while you were in, in, in confinement? People tend Besides to be... wanting to hang us? Well, people tend to be loose-lipped around those they think are going to die. <laughs> Not that I recall. They they they, they just they, they they were happy to inform us we would be hung uh, in the near future. Uh, Man, I have a better memory than you do, and I wasn't even there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm asleep. priorities. You know. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> the, the when most... you wake up, I'll ask you the same question. But until then, they seem right. to get it into their head that Silverlock shot people. Yeah, that's that's probably what I would have been bitching about. It's like, <laughs> God damn it, they thought I would use those damn thunder sticks. And, uh, yeah, that. Yeah. If they're going to hang it, have... they should at least get the charges right. Yeah. 
Next time, what you should do? I didn't even kill anybody. Come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is have just a sash full of knives, and then they won't get confused. I told um I told John D to his face that his son was the one who instigated this. So um, hopefully we sowed some sort of discord amongst their family. Out of character, do you guys not remember John D telling you when the British were going to take over the rest of New York? Yeah. Just wondering. Uh, I, point... I think there are a little bit more pressing pressures yeah. on our lives. <laughs> like I said, I think Silver Lock, <laughs> he, he wouldn't point... care. It's like, I'm going to die and, and they're mm. going to hang yeah. me for something I didn't do. Right. At this point, I'm going to say that Hale has arrived back. It's, it's been a few hours. It's you know, it's it's late. Hale has arrived back. He, you know, he's shed the the wig and the hat, but is otherwise still in his uniform. No and wonder he, you couldn't recognize him. He looks a little stressed. <sighs> Bad news, everyone. I took advantage of being in a red coat uniform and did a little reconnaissance. Admiral House forces are going to be landing at Kipps Bay. Washington's men, Captain Harlem, are. Well, they're going to be hit with a much larger force than, than they're anticipating. Also, this. And he puts something on the table. It is a lead musket ball. And yet, even in the light of the candle, it seems to sparkle. Can I Nick tell what it Nick is? Nick off a Queen's Ranger. Apparently, Professor Drake, your John D, is handing these out to sharpshooters, mercenaries, and the like. Apparently, rumors are the man's put a bounty on his own son. Wants him brought down with one of these bullets. Can I... Uh run a cult knowledge or knowledge mm, on this run a perception check first okay perception am i asleep still i'll say you can just be waking up it's it's pretty late at night but you've been asleep for a few hours you're probably yeah so that conversation with mary and graham um and um silverlock was canon then good <laughs> look give it here let me see I want to take a look right. at it too. You can also make a perception check. Considering I guns rolled my are more perception. My thing. Sure. And if Graham makes it, I'm going to tell you both. Yes. This is <laughs> not. Graham doesn't notice. It's a ball. It goes in a gun. It's a musket yeah, ball. Is... Mary notices the sparkle, the red and gold sparkle. This might have like crushed up philosopher's stone in mixed in with the metal. Um, well, there's more pieces of the Philosopher's Stone out there, John. Hate yeah, to break it to you. Yeah, them in bullets like that? That's very, uh, very interesting. Uh, apparently he's given out seven of these. Six can in I, this one. Can I run, Two. can I, can I... Roll Academics Occult to see what that would do? Sure. What I, I think it would do if this is for his son what would happen if it were to hit him uh mm, that's an interesting let question. me so mary uh, i will give you basically i will pool your roles so thomas i'll let you give a a plus one bonus to mary so that we have a four total because that's going to be better than a three and a two Yep. Yeah. Between the two of you, we start seems, talking theory. Yeah, like you've realized by now that John D's sons were not natural; that they were constructed by the Philosopher's Stone. Yes. If John D is giving out Philosopher's Stone bullets, it might be because that's what's needed to bring one of them down. Okay. And now as far as which one he's trying to kill. Hmm. 
I mean, I think it, the safest bet would probably be Ruby, though, because as I said, Graham flat out told John B that that's who planned everything. And or if John B found know. out that he's, uh, you know. I thought Albedo sort of left. Uh, well, yeah, Albedo is, not... as far as you guys know, Albedo is headed south because Mary saw a vision of him at Roanoke. Can I? Can I actually do? Um, sure. Uh, I'll just roll it right now. Premonition. In your vision, you see that same that same vision of Albedo at Roanoke. It's a little different in that the shadow is sort of surrounding him already. So it's happening now instead of potentially in the future? The shadow is... Well, before, the shadow didn't appear until the end of the vision, but this time okay. it's on the periphery already. And again, Albedo calling out for Virginia Dare, wondering why she's not responding to him. And then that that muttering of, you don't understand. Father doesn't understand. You don't understand. You, you won't understand. You don't understand. You won't understand. I'll make you understand. And then the darkness surrounds him. And yes, he still has the, the burn on like this part of his face. Todoroki burn. Yeah. Zuko um, burn, sadly. The vision then shifts. You see... Again, you see a battle that is kind of a slaughter going on like you see Washington basically being taken by surprise by the forces that are landing if if that vision isn't prevented it could it could be very bad for the patriots and finally you see the vision of New York burning at the center of it it is now clear to you that this is Ruby, though. He is standing at the center of it, arms outstretched, kind of looking up. You can see the glimmer of the Philosopher's Stone right here. And just the fire radiating out from him, just taking all of New York. Okay, does the Philosopher's Stone in him look like a bullet that has been shot into him or that he is, he wasn't actually holding it, though? You can't tell. I mean, uh, okay. the visions aren't always, you know, one for one. It could be a symbol, like the Philosopher's Stone is near where his heart should be, so it could be that, you know, okay. it could be symbolic of that. He actually has a physical Philosopher's Stone in this vision? You see the oh, glimmer hard. representing a Philosopher's Stone, whether that's a physical thing that's just kind of hovering in front of his chest or whether that's symbolic you don't know it's possible there's a there could be a chunk of philosopher's stone levitating around him that wouldn't be the weirdest <laughs> thing you've ever seen his heart is made of philosopher's stone boom, 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 boom. ships on the, uh, the uh, Washington was surprised by the amount of ships or soldiers or soldiers and this kind of goes with what Hale is telling you, that Admiral Howe is planning on landing a, a rather large force at Kipps Bay and marching on Washington's encampment at Harlem. Well, we must warn Washington, clearly. Can we send out a messenger? Should we go? Can you go? Uh, well, what what does Mary tell us? Because that's... For sure. Um... John, I think you should get in talk with get in touch with Virginia Deer. I think that Albedo is on the island. He's in the shadow. I am worried for his sanity. You remember what happened when you looked into that rock and you saw a very pessimistic miss it, blah, blah, the pessimistic mirror, yes. future? Yes, do you remember? I think that something similar might be happening with Albedo. And for sure, John, uh, see if you can get in contact with her and um we do need to contact washington if he is unaware it could be a lot of blood 
young blood that shouldn't be shed yet. Or, yeah. I need to have my foot up and down. <laughs> Do we have the ability to find albedo? Like, by, can you, with I'm, your magics, can you determine where he's where he is? Well, how many days ago at this point did I we see him? Um, the day before would have been, yesterday. Would have been about two days, yeah. Day two yesterday. days ago, we saw him, and I think he ran straight to the island. Um, if we he could catch up with he him, he would not have been able to get there yet. Virginia's like, right? two days in this time from New yes. York to North Carolina. I thought you were talking about Manhattan. <laughs> Or Long Island. No, no. Um, uh, the Roanoke, Island. Roanoke, yes. If we could get there before, there could be a possibility. All I saw was fog in the background and him muttering to himself. I, I don't know exactly what was happening. Um, I'm also worried. Um, well, for sure, uh, Washington needs to be informed. Uh, but also, there is a possibility of Rubido going insane and burning burning down New York. Just just a possibility, but going more insane? <laughs> I mean, well yeah, when you guys saw him, he was essentially wreathed in flame. His eyes were almost glowing and he had just blasted his brother in the face with fire. So he may already be insane. I think these bullets are intended for Rubido. But if, if 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 they were created somehow by Mr. D, can we, if we snuff out their creator, will they still live? Are they even human? Yes, yes. You remember um, Legion, or whatever his sister called him, Walt. <laughs> yes, <laughs> if you killed uh, Benjamin Franklin, he would. Uh, Legion yes, would still be point. alive. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, for me to contact Virginia, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, without hurting myself, it's like I'd have to get to some place that uh, the powers. Uh, well, could you? Do contact Mary would understand it. Ley lines. Uh, would yeah. you be able to contact her easier with a shard of the Philosopher's Stone? Yes. Well, I, I have no idea. Uh, the Philosopher's Stone is not, it's pretty alien to, Silver, to Silverlock's tradition. What yeah. If it would, would Empower help him do it? Yeah. If you would. I would be willing to like spend a few hours to empower him to have him well, try hold to. Hold on, I'm thinking because if it, if if it's a spell, then it's a skill roll. But if it's just trying to, it's astral projection, so that's a spell. So that'd be a skill roll. So yes, empower would help him. Yeah, because it's like 350 miles from New York City to Roanoke Island. I I, I went online to figure that out. It's like, on oh, is it the up to a thousand miles? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> I thought it probably would be, but yeah, ley lines would, you know, uh, or and nexus would be a plus two. It's, it's, you know, right now I'm I'm at a nine base. Whether I can get Virginia's bonus, I'd be at eleven, and then. Minus so that's penalties. why. I, yeah, and at this point, I'm going to remind you guys: the map is to scale. You can just use it. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm zoomed in. Yeah, but thing. it's like. But it's like exactly. No, I'm just proud of myself for making the map to scale. So I'm just going to remind you of that. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Adam. Well done. Yeah. yeah. So Roanoke yeah. Island is here. It's like 400 miles. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Officially, it was like 350, uh, but yeah. 354. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's over 100, but less mm -hmm. than 1,000, that's the same mod. So. Yeah. So, yeah. So within a thousand is the minus ten. My base is, like I said, was nine without uh, her bonus, which I'd have to be in 
a more natural setting to get her bonus. But yeah, mm -hmm. if we're trying to do it in New York City, it's like uh, it's probably going to be hard to do it. Well, I mean, this is New York City of the 1770s. There's a little, you more know, it's a little area. easier to find a, a green space. And whether or not we can find a, whether or not there's any ley lines nearby or not, I, I, which I have no idea. Uh, so sorry, what did I miss? <laughs> he's basically trying to figure out how much help he would need to get a connection to Virginia Dare. Well, yeah, because ley line next on a ley line is a plus one bonus on a nexus is a plus two, but I have yeah. no idea. I don't know how, if the book how, even tells. I don't know if the Gothic horror book even tells us where the ley line nexus points are. They really no, they don't. don't. They don't. If you want to spend a style point, I will say there can be one in New York. I'll. I mean, I can spend style points easily enough. John might need them for later. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there. Okay. And I might burn some non-lethals just to boost it too. But yeah, I'm just trying to get it so we go. I mean, I think it's almost end of the night. I would give you as many style points as I have left, <laughs> along with I would empower you at the very least at a plus four. I could probably get you at a plus eight, like roll you into a plus eight it might just take a while yeah because that's a minus four mod on your okay i will say yeah. you're spending style point there is a ley line intersection in new york it is at trinity church yeah but with that i really don't know if that would even be worth it because i could just get you with like a if i empowered you with Hold on. Just because well, that's thing. Of, like where would be what would be a significant place of yeah. power in New York and Trinity Church is Yeah. Well, or would that be a nexus of, of Yeah, of that's what I'm there. saying. That's the that's the nexus point. That's yeah. the nexus point in New York. That would is make Trinity sense because typically in... things like churches were built on ley lines. Yes. Is the church in the British occupied or in the um well the whole city is occupied by the much of the city is yeah uh at this point so the british have taken staten island and brooklyn but trinity church is in manhattan which is still technically uh patriot controlled cool yeah, and this is a ritual so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Do you want me to just do uh, see if I can just do a divine blessing and that way we could get you a plus eight yeah. bonus and I could give you all my skill points and you just make that uh, call? Well, well, that and it's like if I'm in more of a natural setting, I can get my bonus from my patron too. So that's probably just as well. <laughs> go, yeah, go into a forest. Yeah, have yeah. a better connection. Or a park or yeah, yeah. Yeah. So basically, but here's the thing. Trinity Church is on the southern tip of Manhattan. The British are going to be landing at Kipps Bay. Washington is, in, is camped in Harlem. I don't know so, the geography. Yeah, I don't know. What I'm, what I'm <laughs> getting at is if you're at Trinity Church, the British are going to land and put themselves between you and Washington. So if you go to Trinity Church and send the message, it's going to be hard to also get to Washington to warn him in time. You're going to have to um, decide what your priorities are. Well, and that's is, the thing. It's like, I don't think the church would be the best place for if I wanted to get my patron's bonus. Because, mm -hmm. you know, and the, the bonus for my patron versus the bonus for the ley lines is the same. So we'd probably be better off being in the Brooklyn area if, if we can find a Brooklyn. Well, Queen, Brooklyn is whatever. controlled by the British. You don't want to be in Brooklyn. That is that is where the British are, are kind of dug in right now. You, last time you were in Brooklyn, there were shades attacking you and you guys fled, you know. That was not fun, by the way. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> and Aaron, you um, can correct me on any of my New York geography because you're much more familiar with it than I. 
I just haven't zoomed in on Google, so that's why I was. I don't think the subways have been made yet. No, (laughs) I'm just wondering if there's an area that we I can get my patron bonus that we're fairly close to where we need to be for Washington. That you know, at the end of the day, that's all we're sort of. So, like, is there a forest near my Washington? If we're modern New York, I'd say Central Park, but I'm, yeah. I'm not sure I yeah. was there in 1776. Uh, yeah. There was still woodland back then. I don't, yeah. I don't know. It, it would technically still be there, but it wouldn't be called Central Park. Right. There's a great called... national uh, recreation area. Which Some of the trees to... there are probably over, you know. Then again, Adam, if you know this, wasn't, isn't part of Manhattan like actually man made? Still, um, yeah. again, in. based on the map of Manhattan I'm looking at, I know the southern tip is where. I mean, I'm I'm wouldn't be surprised if part of it was, but I think that would be in the maybe in the northern. I don't know. Like, I'm looking at a historical map of Manhattan. So I've just got sites that, you know, like. Well, is the Pelham uh, Bay Park uh, or the, uh, was that in your old map or? Because <laughs> that's uh, on Manhattan, but not, you know. Like I said, it's like at the end of the day, we're just trying to get to a point that close to where we need to get, but is rural enough that I could probably use my patron bonus. And because I, I just have a feeling if we're at the ley line nexus, we're, we're, we're not getting any additional bonus versus if yeah. I are sure. in more of a natural is area. There, is there just like a forest that he could contact his patron in nearby where yeah, Washington is? Yeah, I think you can find some, wood, some wooded area. If, at the very least, you can find a cemetery. Those are uh, often have. Or a little less populated? <laughs> yeah, I mean... They're actually highly populated. They're just... No. Have but honestly, life. before Central Park was constructed, like cemeteries were what people used as their green space to go to get away from the city. That's part <laughs> of the reason they built it because they didn't want, you know, people hanging out in the cemetery. It was weird. <laughs> Just a little strange. Yeah. So yeah, you guys can yeah. definitely find the cemeteries are heading wherever can you're we... heading. I'm not suggesting like a full party split, but I don't know how much action is going to be involved with just informing Washington of this news versus us contacting Virginia Deer. So, well, put it this way if you go to inform Washington, you may also end up having to help Washington not die. Well, yeah. Um, which is well, that's what, what we, we do with player characters. Yeah. So. Graham <laughs> is probably more concerned with, I mean, he's, he's concerned about the. Rubido, albedo, but um, I think he'd be more worried about the. In- I think that's out of our hands. Right. I don't know what we can do with that. Yeah, yeah. he's got a head start. Can we? Us and George Washington is in imminent danger. Well, can we start heading that way? And while we're on the way, I can be casting this spell on John, and then go with the other people, and John can do his business, and then meet up with us. Okay. Does that sound good? Sure. So, yeah, you guys. Yeah, you. Take Silverlock to the cemetery. You're empowering him on the way, and then I give him all important information. <laughs> all right, and then the all rest right. of you in the carriage are heading to Washington's encampment at Harlem. Well, well, that's the thing. It's like, you know, it, it is a ritual, but if I'm having, if I'm boosted that much, it might not take me that long to do the ritual. Sure, uh, and which so is why I think you can catch up really quickly because you're fast and I'm slow. Yeah, like <laughs> you, you may be able to after this turn into a bird and make it there in time for the, or I, in, you know, get the uh, the spirit of the deer in me and yeah, or whatever in spring. Yeah, you know, like I did the so, one time. All right, so the next scene we're gonna do is you guys have dropped Silverlock off. He's you know communed. Do, 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 do. His. You know, you feel your your spirit lifting out of your body, going up, up, up. You can see New York, and then you're kind of flying very fast down and, you know, over and then down into Roanoke. You appear in your astral form. Virginia Dare is there. She looks 
human. She is not appearing as the deer. She is appearing as kind of this, you know, long blonde hair, white gown, kind of almost, uh, I think we used the Galadriel token for her for a reason. Yeah. She is somewhat startled by your sudden appearance because I'm assuming you came in. Yeah, I came in quick. It's like, yeah. And I'm like going, I, I'm sorry for the intrusion, my lady, but I must warn you that I, I believe Albedo, uh, you know, the one you've shown fa your favor on as well. I think he has been corrupted by Kroto and. Uh, not yet. No, he's going to be. Uh, well, or nope. he said what he said. You cannot. You cannot yeah. correct. Him. I said I gave him all important information. Yeah. Well. And, and that would include yeah. the um, that would include yeah. the prophecy that mm -hmm. um, yeah. the lady bestowed her favor unworthily and left him behind. And in his weakness, he would uh -huh. be you know taken over. I'm not saying you didn't, but it would have that included doesn't stop that. him yeah. from saying the wrong thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because well, in my mind, that's what has happened or or is happening. Yeah. Which is why she she looks at you as if she's trying to read you. I know there was bad blood, even at our first meeting between you and he. And yet your words ring true. I sensed a darkness about him even then. I had thought that it was due to his father's teachings that he could be turned from it, but I do, I feel my connection with him is unsettled. I fear that the darkness within him may be much deeper than I had thought. If you will come here, I will he will not find me, nor will he find the stone. I will ensure that it, that everything is protected from him. But I worry. If I could not turn him from the darkness, then I may have given Croatoan a powerful weapon. Perhaps I was wrong to meddle in the affairs of mortals after all. Tell me, lady, what what needs to be done, and I'll do my best to do it. I will need time to think. I will reach out, and if I if he can be turned from this dark path, I will I will do what I can. If he cannot be turned, then I may need you to rectify my mistake. Really? <laughs> and well, she does not say this lightly. Like her form almost flickers. Like it's it's clearly stressing her out to even consider it. Well, we have one bullet with sparkles on it. So. <laughs> Sparkle bullet. One well, bullet, three brothers. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, line them up properly and <laughs> exactly line them up. <laughs> so we're not to be, trying to get rid of all three of them. Fair, right? you don't have any reason to kill Negredo yet. Like well, he hasn't gone crazy yet. <laughs> well, I thought we would only want to get Albedo anyways. Well, N Negredo, sorry, Rubido is about to being... burn down New York. Well, wow, that's and that. I may have accidentally seen spoilers while looking at maps of old New York. Sorry, Adam. It's fine. I mean, I you guys, <laughs> I let it slip I... that there was a great fire in New York. Like, this is actually a hex historical event. Yeah. In 1776. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Oh, really? Okay. Well, all right. Yeah. And, and Jeff already knew about it because the Washington Spies series opens with them talking about it. So oh, I figured okay. at least he knew that, yeah, that's a thing. 
well, I guess through my visions, I do know that New York is going to burn, most mm -hmm. likely, probably due to Rubido. Historically, it's definitely Rubido's fault too. Yeah. Yeah, we can't do anything about it. Mm hmm Okay. Well, it's not like we can, anyways. So. Well. We're yeah. on our way okay. to Washington. Yeah. This is always this question in this campaign about how much we can actually affect history differently, but. <laughs> I feel like Again. we're being railroaded. <laughs> yeah, Rail it's not railroaded, but it's. You guys can definitely affect history if you did something. Here's the thing. I take the philosophy that history wants to happen the way it happened. So, you know, you do something to affect history, it might push back. You kill John Pitcairn, he comes back as a zombie to die when he's supposed to. <laughs> you do something really out there, like, I don't know, put a bullet in George Washington. You totally derailed it. I'm recovering from that. Wow. The earth slips into a black hole. Unless and... you're one of those conspiracy theorists that believe Washington was killed and Adam Weishaupt replaced him. There is also there's also but... a conspiracy theory that Washington was running through the forests and like bullets were just missing him. So he might have just a permanent spell of cannot be hit with a bullet, you know. <laughs> yeah. He's a ghost. <laughs> I mean, well, actually, yeah. probably it might be more important to take out Albedo than Rubito, even though Rubito is going to burn down half of New York. Worst thing yeah. might happen if we don't take out Al Albedo. Oh. I would rather, you know, he he does healing. We, we so... just did heal one of the brothers. Was that a mistake? Agreed. We don't know. Well, he was against the not using magic. We don't know what kind of friend or what kind of enemy or friend we've just made. I think if you assume that everyone is against you, you're probably not too far off. <laughs> so True, you, but friends can become not, enemies and vice versa. So. Here's not the question. If we are now trying to kill the Edo brothers, does that mean that our, our their father is now our ally? Uh, I no, I don't think John D is ever our Ally. No, like I said, well, you can hope for the enemy best. Of an enemy. Expect, expect for the worst. Yeah. Is, is, there... is that is that saying a, to a thing in this time? An enemy of your enemy is your friend. I'm not sure when that originated. Because I don't think very, that's very... true, though. Well, that's a very very old thing that goes thousands of years back. I think it's a Chinese proverb. Or... I mean, I that's, that's how business is done true. in the Middle East. That's how it's been done for a very long time. We might be able to leverage the that yes. uh, relationship or lack thereof to our advantage. Um, exactly. So I great. <laughs> if we were to meet up with... Uh, Mr. D, and uh, talk to him how we want to take out his sons. That might not work well for us. Maybe we send a letter first, and we see if he <laughs> wants to parlay. Well, I guess the, the question is, do we know whether he's going to stay angry at his son? Well, he's always angry. To be, to be we honest. Also, we also have the, the question of, like, is Albedo beyond recovery? Is that is that what Virginia Dare is going to figure out, or do we have to figure that out? I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah, Silverlock is such a because Silverlock <laughs> sucks at communication. <laughs> hey, you do that. Uh, well, <laughs> Go ahead. Everybody Come makes on. everybody makes mistakes, especially in a high information low. Well, no, I, I would think just even situation. all the things he's seen and uh, heard. And it's like, you know, to him, that's what he's seen. It's like he, he keeps turning on us. It's like, and you probably didn't even tell him about what happened in the, uh, you know, after we, you know, when we were captured and you guys were, uh, you know, you told us about the vision, but you didn't, I don't know if you told us about the, uh, 
uh, about Abito being the one who stabbed Negrito and uh, then get burnt by Rubido. I I said I would have okay. told you all important information. Okay. I do consider that yes. fact important, so I would okay. have told you that. Yeah. That's why I nope. said all important information, yeah. so that way Adam can't say, yeah. oh, you didn't include that, and I would be like, well, I consider Again. that to be important information. Well, I was I, like, I think Silverlock would just I think, think that's it is. fine, but that yeah. doesn't Albedo. stop him from misspeaking, which is... Yeah, that's to, true. It, to him, it's like, it sounds like Albedo's turn. It's like, it's, that's not something a... a uh, and especially given that Silverlock is not a fan of Albedo anyway, it's perfectly reasonable that he would have interpreted it that way. Yeah. You say that he murdered his brother and is surrounded by darkness and visions. Yeah, Silverlock might think he's already he's already gone dark. Like there's evidence that even if he is not yet working for Croatoan, that he is um, headed in that direction. Not uh, on the up and up morally. But anyway, for this episode, you guys are going to get participation point. Role playing point, success point because you completed your your objective, and a knowledge point because you guys got some interesting information. So four for everyone. Nice, thank you. Nice. And that puts me right at Actually, 15. I'll give you the danger point as well because oh. even if there was no combat, you were definitely in danger. I have a question. If I use these fifteen points and make the piece of philosopher's stone, I have a special item. An artifact. An artifact. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I can like keep it in my shoe and no one will find it? Because I really don't want bad guys to get a hold of this. That's <laughs> just like... Lock, yeah. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Damn it, girl! What are you doing? At least Silverlock can keep an eye on me if he's worried about it, though. Like, <laughs> um, I will figure out what, like, the Philosopher's Stone is a much higher level artifact. I'll well, figure obviously, out what, I'll I don't figure know what a level all of one version of it would do. Would I'll figure out what kind of bonuses a level one version of it would give you? But yes, what it would be is just an artifact I have at this point that might affect something that I do occasionally, and as I use it, I learn more about it, and as mm -hmm. I potentially unlock its abilities, I get yeah. power armor. Mm -hmm. I'll figure out what a level one version of the Philosopher's Stone will do for you. But yes, if you wanted to buy it as an artifact, Philosopher's Stone Shard, then as an artifact, I wouldn't allow it to be lost. I mean, yes. I wouldn't allow it to be lost without something big happening, and then you'd get something of equal or greater value to replace it. Like, if you spend experience on it, I'm not just going to take it away from you just for the lulls. So, yeah. You get another like, It's not going to be like Pitcairn's Saber, which... Adrian no longer has. <laughs> um, thinking about leveling stuff up. Yeah. Um, I would we be able to do a, an attribute upgrade either this or next I session? I think I said you could last time. So if you didn't, I haven't upgraded I I anything that. at this point. But I kind of want to upgrade my dexterity instead of strength, and I don't have enough for that. So I'm just wondering mm -hmm. to know if I should save them or upgrade my firearm skills. Up to you. Um, if you haven't done one, I will yeah. let you do one when you get enough points for it. Okay, I'm going to save them then, because I think... Yeah, if you haven't done one the whole campaign, you can do one just whenever you get the points for it. That goes for anyone who hasn't done one yet. Okay, I'm going to probably bank mine then. Uh, okay. Are we going to go into uh, combat, though, probably with Washington, is that? Next or... episode is titled The Battle of Harlem. Okay, I'm going to actually... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> forego the thing and i'm gonna boost my firearm skill how many okay. ranks can i increase it if if i've gotten enough to do like two additional ranks can i boost it that much one at a time like okay yeah if i boost um the base does it go up for the specialization as well uh yes. if you, well if you raise the base then the specialization is always one higher than the base okay so yes Adam, what if I wanted to make my uh, my gun a level two? If you wanted to upgrade your your gun to a level two artifact, yeah, um, you'd have you would have to find someone in story who could do that for you. Remember, your gun was built by was created by John D. Uh, obviously, he's not going to upgrade it for you. 
But yeah, but then Franklin Frank might. Yeah, Franklin might. I was gonna say. So you'd have to wait until you were at a place where Franklin could do it, and then we could talk about what specific upgrade you'd want to make. Okay. Soon we're not going to be able to play these characters anymore, so I'm working on power armor to the best of my ability, so that way, you know. <laughs> the finale will be you don't have power, power armor introduced in this campaign, because if it does, I'll bring back the Urwark. <laughs> If, if, if power armor becomes a thing, you know the Hessian mercenaries are going to have a bunch of the Urwerk tripping from the last campaign, and you okay. don't want to face a bunch of those. So, no power armor. Last time. So, as far as time frame goes, what? How many more episodes do you think we'll have before the end of the season? So, I am I'm looking at the timeline now. So, obviously, the Battle of Harlem is the 16th of, of September. Right. The finale I have in mind is the end of the year 1776. Okay. Um, so Washington crossing the Delaware. Um, that is the... basically going to be part of the, the final <laughs> arc. Like, yeah. That is, I'm setting it up like that is going to be part of the finale arc. I just want to know: Are you going to are you going to do some Photoshop where you put our faces in that painting? I don't <laughs> have that ability, but Aaron is very good at Photoshop. <laughs> you all the to him. 